Hello everyone. In this series of tutorials, we will learn about Terraform. So in the first video, let's see what Terraform is. Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code software tool created by HashiCorp. Now, what does that mean? So let's see what uh, infrastructure as a code means. So basically, when you are a customer of some cloud provider like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud Platform, you need to create some resources uh, to build your application like the resources can be anything it can be your ec2 instances s3 buckets anything so how do you create those resources in your <coughs> cloud platform so one way is you can create those resources manually by going to the console uh, web console and you know create the resources but that's uh, in a lot of manual activity so that's where infrastructure as a code comes into place so infrastructure as a code means that you define all your resource all the resources that you need in a piece of code or a configuration file and you just run that file to create your infrastructure. So that's what infrastructure as a code means. So Terraform is a tool which enables to define your <coughs> infrastructure in a piece of code and basically run that code uh, which will create uh, the resources in your cloud platform. So whatever resources you need to create, you define that infrastructure in a configuration language called HashiCorp, HashiCorp configuration language that is HCL. So let me take an example so this is how the uh, you know example looks like so here we are just uh, this is a basic example of how to create an ec2 instance using terraform so this is how the hashicorp configuration language uh, looks like so you basically define your uh, resources in this way and you just run this file which will create the resources okay so this terraform helps you to keep your infrastructure in a compliant state so i'll explain more on this later okay so the third thing is it helps you to automate your infrastructure in the sense like already explained you need not uh, go to the console or uh, web web console every time and create your resources manually you just define your resources in the uh, configuration file and you can automatically create those resources using terraform and it also makes the auditing of your infrastructure easier in the sense like your uh, configure i mean your terraform files will have all the infrastructure that you have set up so if someone wants to take a look at what what is the infrastructure that is there in your cloud platform they can just uh, simply take a look at this files and you know audit the infrastructure so it makes the uh, process of auditing a lot easier and basically you can create resources of any cloud provider using terraform it can be aws or microsoft azure or google platform google cloud platform so that's a brief introduction about what Terraform is. Now let's look at what are the advantages of using Terraform. The first thing is that it is platform agnostic. It means that you know you in your application you might be using you know heterogeneous cloud platform in the sense you can have some uh, resources related to AWS and Azure and Google platform everything. So basically that you know you can still have all your resources defined in a project in Terraform. So basically Terraform is platform agnostic and it maintains the state of your infrastructure okay so uh, like whenever you first initialize a project a state file is created which will uh, maintain the state of your infrastructure so we will discuss more about this state files when we uh, look into the demo demo part of this terraform so another advantage is that you know you will have a feature called terraform plan wherein you know it will allow you to verify the creation resource so when you run this terraform plan so basically it will uh, show you the you know, layout of how, how the resource creation will happen so you can you know verify the creation process and stuff like that so these are the advantages of using terraform so let's look at how the terraform workflow looks like so if you basically want to create a project i mean uh, using terraform so this is how the workflow looks like so in the first step you know you need to uh, confirm what resources you need to create for your given project okay so like your project can uh, require ec2 instances s3 buckets or whatever so that's the first step you just basically need to define uh, you need to make sure what are the resources you need so in the sec second step you author i mean you create the configuration file in ashicorp uh, configuration language that i showed you earlier so basically you define all your resources in this configuration file that's the second step so once you are done with that you run uh, like a terraform there is a command called terraform init when you run the terraform init command in the project directory with the configuration files you know the terraform will go through those files and download all the required plugins for the cloud provider that you might have specified in your configuration files so that's the third step you run the terraform init so once the init is done 
you run the terraform plan command to verify the creation process so basically once you run the terraform plan command it basically lays out the how the creation process will happen so you can just have a look at and you know get an idea of how it will happen or if you want to change anything you can you know uh, do that in this step so once that is done this is the final step we run the terraform apply to create all the resources as well as state file that you know in the future if you made any change it compares that future changes from your configuration files so yeah this is this is a very simple workflow we will see how to do it uh, in the demo part when we look into the uh, hands on tutorials on how to work with terraform so yeah this video was uh, basically to uh, give a brief introduction of what terraform is and you know how why it is so famous and how uh, you know it helps the uh, customers who are using cloud platforms to uh, automate the infrastructure so in the next video i'll show you how to install terraform in your machine and you know start uh, getting your hands dirty uh, by doing some um, you know hands on uh, you know, practice tutorials on terraform that's it uh, thank you for this uh,